Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I'm a little nervous about today's mission. It's a long mission. We're not taking like a dedicated healer or a dedicated stress healer. Uh, so we're going to be relying on just killing things quickly. We have some healing with Iphigenia and the bandages. So maybe I'm going to bring a little bit of extra food. We've got two capping opportunities, five holy waters, four bandages, four keys, four shovels, 16 torches, three antivenoms, four laudanums. And uh, this is an antiquarian run. So I'm just going to try to get cash going, which, which it's been pretty tough. Uh, I did end up selling two trinkets, uh, one pair of sandals and another um, common item that we were never using. Oh, a bleed, a bleed stone. So see you later. We're taking out Ezrael, Lachlan, Iphigenia, and Bella into the ruins. Long mission, long time. Let's go. Today's log comes from Mr. May's man who writes for our Duchess named Harmony. My tempered mood may originate from my designated stint at the bar, where it seems that even though it is now wildly or widely known of my true nature, none of the other mercenaries seem to shy away from me, which is both refreshing and confusing. <laughs> which is pretty fair, I the think. Fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of the okay. noble line? Okay, okay. It's a good scout right off the bat. We have to take room battles. So this secret door, I think we'll end up coming back to pick this up later. I don't think there's any reason in filling up our inventory with stuff right now, but we definitely want to come back to it. So let's uh, let's start here. Altar of Light. I think we go Holy Water. Yep. For... What does this do? Is this protection? Or is this... I mean, either way. I can't remember if this protection or damage. I think the suit... Yeah, okay. So this is damage. The suit is protection. So I probably should have put that on him because we're buffing his damage already, but um, I'm cool with it. We'll leave the secret room for now. Trap disarm at 100. And I have to remember uh, for her to grab as many of the uh, curios as we can. All right, first battle. Spiders. Cool. Got the surprise. Also cool. Uh, she. These guys are pretty low health-wise, so if she can get damage in, we'll take it. 9 to 17. Let's actually have him... Ah... Uh, the dodge. Okay. That sucks. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Ezreal might be able to zealous accusation both of these. There you Gone, go. Alright, so we'll take one attack. Executed That's with fine. Impunity. The Eldritch Altar, this is purging a quirk. Uh, obsessed with food. We'll actually do it with him. Anemic. Okay, not the one I would hope, but that's okay. We've gotten pretty lucky with removing the quirks that we hoped for in the past, so. Grab the sacks. So the Antiquarian, in case it's your first time ever seeing the Antiquarian, uh, she picks up these little antiques when she grabs pretty much anything. Uh, she can find other stuff as well, I believe, but these stack really high and they're worth 500 gold each. She also increases the amount of gold that we can put in each slot, um, which is why she's quite good to use for making money. Okay, we got brigands. It's uh, not bad. It's not bad. Not great. I wish... So what's his speed? Seven? We're almost always going to go first, so the damage versus stun is going to be hard to pull off. 11 to 19 there. 8 to 14 is possible. This guy hits everybody. This guy can bleed, and this guy causes stress. 
Maybe we all in on the guy in the front? As strange as that sounds. Oh! Yeah, that'll do. That's a good start. And we got that mark, if you noticed. So, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. So let's go through this because I think this is a uh, fascinating trinket. When we attack with this, we get a 50% chance to mark the target. But we're doing 40% less damage versus marked uh, because we have the trinket. However, we do 90% damage as a base versus marked. 90% plus damage. Which means we're still getting plus 50% damage versus marked. Plus, if we crit, we're getting an extra 33% damage versus marked. Which is uh, pretty insane, actually. It's pretty insane. Uh, four to six. Or we buff dodges. He's only going to be able to hit him anyways. And then she can hit somebody in the back. So I'm going to buff the dodge of everybody. See you later. Now, we do have this corpse to deal with, which kind of sucks. 4 to 8 or 5 to 10. Let's go on the little guy. Okay, so now we're going to try to stun some guys out here. 25. Got the stun, that's good. We're gonna have to start healing a little bit. Oh, that's something that's we should probably unlock that, honestly. Instead of this blight, maybe. Hmm. Just because, like, we can crit off the heals, too. And I didn't take the Junior's head here because I didn't want to take the extra stress. Um, we have 120% stun chance. Pretty low, but I'm going to see if we can get it. Beautiful. Because he had that resist, so we still got through it. He's dead. I just want to be able to heal more. Unforgiving. So if we have that control, we can sort of abuse it. I maybe could have put the stun on him just for a small amount of damage. And maybe I should just stack it on her and kind of focus it each fight. That's probably what I should have done. Okay, so Citrine is going to be hard to keep, so let's get rid of that. This is locked. Remember, we have to keep a key for the secret room. These They also find these rare antiques. They're pretty solid. Helium Pendant is going to be tough. Uh, let's get rid of the Anti-Venom. And we're still early in the dungeon, so... Yeah, let's go. I'm hoping we get some nice scouts so that we can easily pick our targets. I'm going to head south here. There's one battle versus two. Uh, let's take a peek at what this curio is. Let's grab that. And maybe we'll even camp early so that we can, uh... Oh. oh, we do have nighttime ambush. Okay, good. So we can clear up a slot. Uh, this is herbs that I didn't bring. Damn it. <laughs> okay, forgot herbs. Pummel. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. They can attack there. A 
only eight. Let's clear these out. We'll go for a stun and then do some heals. And, uh, because of the healing buff that they get on this, that's even another reason that we should unlock the, uh, Antiquarian heal. He's up to almost full. Oh, I should have went with this because we have the higher crit mod. So too will resistance. But I was thinking because we get the damage versus stun, which obviously doesn't matter. Okay, so let's switch out the Blight for the healing. We'll do this, then the dodge, then protect, then heal. Okay, please scout. Give me a scout. There we go. It's listening to me. Oh, so many room battles. Okay. Well, if I go this way, then back, then down, then back, then across, then up. I gotta fight these anyway, right? Empty. Dirty. Okay, she's got to go first. Oh. Another Good one crit. Falls. Six to twelve. Nice. Decimated. And realistically, this dungeon, we sh like, we should be strong enough to deal with everything. Uh, I think I'm going to ditch bandages. These are crucial. The holy water is nice for some of the curios. Uh, food, maybe we can ditch soon. Okay, these guys are pretty fast. Good dodge, Lachlan! And he takes all that extra stress from Dismas Head, too. Can we kill that back line? Their formation yes. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, let's do one of these. Let's do a protection here. In case she decides to go. Zealous is okay here. It could kill this. One short. Now he acts. Good dodge. They are all over him. There's a crit. Nice. Give them no quarter. Got the damage versus human and marked and crit potential. Eradicated. Okay. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. All right, I'm ditching the loud in them now, which kind of sucks. The emerald would be good. Uh, what if I camped now? We could get some buffs, like... Prevent nighttime ambush there. 
We buff up accuracy and crit. Buff up the scouting chance for four battles as well. Which would cover us for one, two, three, four. And then we could even camp again there. Let's do it. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself. I want to eat ten horrors. food, though. We could encourage to reduce him. Zealous speech as well. To give people... Yeah, so... Four, five for nine. And then an encourage. Oh, yeah, but then we can't get the buffs. And this is like... We're overusing this here. We don't really need to use that, I think. Yeah, I'm going to save the food. So we'll prevent the ambush. Encourage here. And then take the... Accuracy and crit, plus the scouting. And then, yeah, minus 50% stress. Okay, I'm good with that. The match is Excellent. struck. A blazing star is born. Jeez. All right, well, food-wise... Let's go here. And... This is a nice problem to have. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice problem to have. Busts are pretty common. Along with crests, I guess, but... I don't want to ditch portraits. Portraits and deeds, a little bit more rare. I'll leave that for now. Okay. If I go through here, I'm likely going to come back up. I just want to see what the curio is. This is good. Uh, holy water for some gold. I'm going to back up and take the stress. And then we'll go across. I don't know the math behind when the food checks happen. So sometimes I'm hesitant to go here and then initiate a trek back because I feel like that has a higher chance of having a food check occur. Okay, so this would be my last key because up here we need to save this, right? A fortune. I think that's probably worth it. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay. Disarm the trap with Lachlan. Got the surprise. Let's see if we can kill this one off. Brings him up a tad. All right. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Let's go for a stun here. And we'll do a protection. That's good. We're reducing that. Getting protected by him. Good. And he's already acted. Damn. We rolled low on damage there. Got the mark off, though. Take that.
No crit. So our stun chance is 110, so 120 minus 75. Let's just attack. I keep... His gear is so strong. Actually, in that situation, I should probably just mark, because then she gets the extra crit chance there. You can crit heal off of it. Let's heal. Nice. I'm going to keep him alive for a sec, see if we can heal her up. It's probably the last chance we're going to get. Yeah, let's let's not risk the reinforcements. On second thought. Remind yourself that overconfidence is slow and I don't like when you say that, that, Wayne. The assault was overwhelming with Cuthbert slain and as Bolain fell, I was driven with rage. I leapt and drove my axe into the creature's many eyes. Purple ichor splashed my face, and my very soul shook as it bellowed. The only thing I can recall after was falling swiftly into blackness. I'm just going to open it regularly. No key. Okay. Well, I need to make a slot for this. We don't see any obstacles yet. Uh, we don't know if we're going to need stress reduction. Like, get rid of these shovels. You know damn right we're going to see an obstacle over here. Maybe I just get rid of the holy waters. Again, good for curios and stress reduction, but... If we hit... If we do hit an obstacle, we're going to be in big trouble. If we were closer to the end of the run... Well, maybe that's what we should be doing. Maybe we should just be kind of leaving stuff right now. And we can come back and pick it up after we do all of the battles. Maybe that's the smarter play. Because we are doing that with the secret door. So, thing here is, I think maybe we can break this for a similar effect. The key is obviously the best way, but we might be able to break it. As Six the torches. Purchase, That's another concern. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Let's stun. I love that skill, man. That's really good. The fact that you stun and bring them all the way up. So solid. Let's throw down a protection here. In case this guy goes. There it is. Nice dodge. Maybe a bit greedy there. Could have just stunned him. Let's heal. Sedated. The exorcist would probably be a good one to bring in here. Into the ruins. He already gets the damage versus unholy stacks, and then they seem to leave a lot of corpses, so we could clear that for stress healing. Instead of relying on the uh, jester. Let's clear that. Getting the healing buff here. Nice dodge. 
We can pretty much rely on these front two right now against this group. Kills. There we go. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. He did resist there, but that's okay. All right. He's look at this so fat stack we're pulling evil. back right now. Or is it merely a trick of the light? We still have our buffs. <laughs> Two more battles, so up here. Two stressors in the middle. Decent speed as well. Might be able to kill, but unlikely. Let's just try a stun. No crits. We haven't seen a lot of crits in our group. But we haven't been crit against a lot either, so... Nice job, Bella. Who says antiquarians can't kill? 110, so 120 minus 60, so 60% 60 chance. Or potential to just kill. Damn it. Should have tried it. Ugh. Okay, so she's buffing her horror amount. Let's go dodges. Nice kill, Lachlan. Damn it. I, you know, and I mentioned crits. I did say it out loud, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Let's stun here. We'll flashbang the back and bring him up. Oh, he resisted the move. Okay, fine. Buff dodge. See if we can't get a couple heals in on Lachlan here without taking too much damage. Nice. We rolled just high enough. go. Iphigenia is like pulling us through this right now. Very nice. Bring them up as high as we can. Don't know why I did that. Yep, reinforcements. Whoops. My bad. You guys aren't too crazy, so should be okay. I don't think they can hit Iphigenia, so even if they hit these guys, it's fine. Give them some protection, further increase that dodge. There we go. 23 dodge right now. He's got healing buffs and her too. Let's go here. And now we kill. Okay. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I now find myself back in the warrens among the remains of my companions. My wounds are too severe to allow the completion of our my task. Thus, the desecration must resume another time. Curious, there is a ring in my pocket. Where it came from, I cannot begin to guess, though it bears the sigil of the estate's ancestral owner. Very curious. Okay, well, the emerald I'm going to have to leave. I have to hold the shovels until we hopefully scout this area. 
Um, so yeah. Shovel this, I think. Okay. A handsome reward for a task well performed. We want to start another stack of coins here. Probably. But let's wait until we camp. Oh yeah, that's right. And I said I was going to leave it. Sometimes I just don't listen to myself. We're going to leave all of these now. Just going to leave everything. No touching. The last battle, then another camp. I think we'll just try and kill where we can. Nice dodge. Oh, I should have zealous there for sure. Speed four, we should be okay. Okay. Now I have to make a stack here. Oh, we got a scouting proc. Oh, that's really good. Okay, I'm going to ditch the shovels. I'm ditching them. I'll eat these two food. And do we camp here? If we do, I don't think we eat much food. Yeah, I think we camp. And I didn't have to waste Huddled as much together. there either. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. We don't even need the heals. Because if I eat five, that takes me down to seven, which leaves me with uh, only one food check. I'm going to do this so I have two food checks available. Uh, I have to do this for nighttime ambush. Accuracy. Encourage. Uh, the speed is nice. Or do we want the scouting? The scouting doesn't really help us anymore, because if there's something down here and we need, and if there's a room down here we need to fight, then uh, if there's a if there's an obstacle or not, I have to leave it. So let's take the uh, speed buffs. I think. Everyone gets plus two speed. And then she can do minus 50% stress. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. In radiance, may we find We're down victory. to four torches. Can't do anything with this thing. Ah, frick. Sparkling eyes of you. We did get the surprise. That's really huge. He might drop some of those big trapezoid deals. We could stun him. We could mark him as well. He's got a decent stun. I'm just going to feel bad if we... Hey, I'm going to mark. Let's start buffing dodges here. The blood I'm hoping that we can roll before him, but I don't think it's going to happen, man. Vigor is restored. Nice. If we can pull off the stun, that would be big. Nice. Okay, so he doesn't get to do his BS. And now we start pumping in. Well, that wasn't as huge as I was hoping, but that's okay. Uh, let's keep buffing dodge. Okay, he's going to bring out his pals. But he is marked. 8 to 16. Vestal Highwayman, I think. 
We go for a stun. There's the crit. 25. Gonna try to clear out one of these, I guess. Just to bring him up. These guys don't leave uh, corpses. No crit. Show collection. Herpes! It's not so bad. Two! Antiquarian kills them. Of course! Of course you would. There we go. We'll probably find these in the secret room too, right? Okay. Uh, we are going to grab this because we need torches. We get one of these as well. Look at that. Look at how high that stacks. Insane. If you've been wondering why I wanted an antiquarian so bad for so long. This is why. Get this on the way out. How many torches? Five. Hey, Ectomorphs. Okay. Okay. That proc is kind of annoying. 21. We have a better chance killing here. Good job, Lachlan. This is very minor damage. Let's buff some dodges here. Hopefully avoid this stress they're about to hurl at us. Beautiful crit. Okay, so these guys, they still deal stress. Still manageable. Gotta kill this corpse as well. Get rid of the big guys first. Oh, good job. Excellent. I love the sound that that makes. That's really cool. You guys are owning. Expedition at least promises success. The journal is an illustration of a religious figure walking to the right of the page. To his left, another figure, tall with pointed features, watches him from the shadows. The figure is holding two daggers. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now we're in a we're in a really good position. Uh, I'm not going to unlock this with the key. Let's just open it. And... The only thing we have to be afraid of... Is potentially getting, like, ambushed somewhere. We can go here. We might even get scouting procs. So I'm thinking we're just going to ditch our torches light, and let the light the run out. of safety. Take the deeds here. Okay. Wealth beyond measure. So we stacked up to Awarded twenty. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. And they're worth five hundred each. So if I get one of these out of each other curio, let's say one. Some of these we couldn't grab. Two, three, four. Can we outdo this one? Maybe? I think I'll, I'll ditch this stack of crests. To start that. 
Okay, so there's our food check. We have one more available. Uh, this can do... I don't think we have the stuff for this. I think we cleanse this with herbs, right? I'm just gonna leave it. Hey, we got the scout, too. Yeah, see, these battles I'm probably going to avoid. We'll see what this is. Ah. Okay, well. Day six, as we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therian... Prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I'm already falling asleep. All right. We're going to head back. Head towards the secret room. And any other curios. Damn it. It's really unlucky. We have to go all this way. Can't do anything with this one. I could poke out here to see what this curio is, but uh, now that we don't have any food, I'm a bit more concerned. Pretty likely. Yeah, see? Now we're going to take all this extra stress. Sets in, turning the body against itself, weakening the mind. Okay. Oh, it's gonna hurt himself on the glass, isn't he? Yep. Light. Nothing I can do for you, pal. Trap spawn. Good for a little de-stressor. How unlucky the is that? Elements of survival cannot be met on an empty stomach. Let me tell you, very unlucky. Hey, let's d douse this thing. Holds much worse than mere and Boom. Maxwell's head. Extra stress healing done. Minus 15 healing received. So this is good for the jester, I guess. Plus 10% stress. Uh. I think it all, you know, everyone's still alive. We have relatively low stress. Could have went better if we got luckier on the stress checks. Let's get rid of this one portrait here. This is 1,500. Uh, man, what do I, what do I ditch here? I, I don't know strategically what the right call is. Probably this. Probably our 1500 slot. Full stack of crests. Lose one portrait. We still get four deeds. We have three portraits coming home. Yeah. Okay. We did it. That was sick. Oh, look at this money roll in here. Plus all this amazing all. trinket, I think. We reclaim what is ours. So we could give that to anybody carrying the junior's head. We pretty much always take that out. Or give it to somebody taking the Dismas head. Or the new head. Got over 40 grand in the bank. Tons of this stuff. I think that's good, man. On guard. Unholy hater. That's excellent. Loudenham penchant. Probably want to get rid of that straight away. Perhaps Ooh. things are not as bad as they seem. 
<laughs> All idle heroes 200% stress healing received. While the campaign continues to drag on, recent events have emboldened the standing roster. Confidence is reported to be an all-time high. So basically, they, they normally do five uh, passive stress. So they got 20, which is no small amount. And if you look at this, like, we've managed things fairly well, I would say. Remove nervous. Good. Wraith only. 25% damage of target HP is below 50%. And 25% damage if we're below 50%, but you take a lot of extra stress. Okay, so good news is we have um, Boss in the Warrens. We have uh, almost a, another boss in the Ruins. We have to do a Wield run and we have to do a Cove run. I would say. Those should be probably the targets. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this one. From Lachlan. You want to lock in any of these? We have some money finally. These are both good, but like humans, we see the least amount. Unholy is very specific to the ruins. Like they're nice to have, but I don't know if locking them in is good. Tough is pretty solid. Quite expensive. But I think Lachlan's going to be here for the long haul, right? So let's do it. All right. Holy moly. We're getting a lot of level twos. That's insane. I'm tempted to get this unlock next, actually. Let's get rid of some of the, uh, some of the crests. We need, uh, three of these. So now we get five heroes More per week. Arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory. In this domain of the damned. Another ant another antiquarian. I'm actually tempted to make space for this somehow. Uh I can't I can't really though. I can't dismiss anybody. That's our rule. So our roster is full. Until I can unlock this or somebody dies. Not much I can do there. Alright. Let's see if there's anybody. Uh, we could probably replace one of our 6 million shield breakers. So, Banadette hasn't come out at all. Slumped shoulders, wild eyes. Welcome. And a stumbling gait. This one is no more good to us. Okay. Uh, Antiquarian, we're good. Our succubus is level 2 now, isn't she? No, she's level 1. So we could replace her with this. So we can replace with the higher level. Let's do that. Lilith Darkblood is getting a whole new deal. Give you the same look here. Okay, so fast healer, stress in the ruins, beast, melee skills is going to be gone. And replaced with Another soul damage in the aisles, broken. damage versus Cast unholy. Like Photomania is really torch. good. Crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. Stress of torch above 75. That has to go. Mine, these just offset each other. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so eventually we want to get rid of that one on her. And then our grave robber we just picked up and she's a uh, pretty high level uh, ash. So we won't be replacing her. This is awesome. I feel like... Oh, this is so nice because this whole, like, middle part of the game can be a real slog. And it's real nice to have this mod. Um, it allows us to go and do some of these higher level missions sooner rather than later. We still have three level zeros. Um, I think we've taken out these guys before, right? Ariadna has come out on a mission. I'm pretty sure. But I think we failed the mission or something. It had to come back. Okay. So, let's see where we want to go next. Uh, wield, medium run. We have a 3% chance on every attack to take a disease. But 
We debuff the target for minus dodge and minus damage. It's kind of cool. Diseases aren't that bad. We can always deal with them. I don't know if I love this. Bakakujura is obviously an enemy type from the Sunward Isles. Um, damage versus size 2 is very specific in my opinion. Succubus Ring, we already have like a bunch of those. Uh, I think we'll just go here. We'll go to the wield. And then of course we want to clear a path to this boss, boss too. You check these short ones. Not that great. All right. I think this is probably our best trinket. Plus, uh, portraits are good. So let me build out a group for the wield, and I'll show you what I've come up with. Okay, so here's the group I've come up with. I'm going to take uh, Igor, our bogatir. We're taking Dexter, our houndmaster. Uh, Fane as our wraith. And Claire Lady Messialot as our healer. Uh, we're going to go with the Solar Crown to offset the stress from the Junior's head and buff all of her healing. Him, I'm going to try... I'm going to unlock some skills and basically try to set him up as a dedicated stunner. He can stun any uh, any position from rank 2 or 3. Uh, this is meaning his Reap might not get used a lot, which is also pretty good. But um, this way we can have Hound's Rush for damage, him for critting on anything that's stunned. And then I'm keeping him in position two for now. Uh, but if we're feeling like that's not working during the run, we can switch him into three. Fane can come up here. Then he can use Reap. And uh, he can still use a bunch of his stuns. And maybe maybe that's better. Maybe that's the better way to do it. We can keep Blackjack just in case. Or we can unlock... Um, we can use Havoc until they swap around. We'll just see how it feels. But uh, we're going to go and unlock a bunch of these skills for Fane. So... Let's start there. Fane, okay. Uh, can we upgrade any of these? I should have just done this before, obviously. Every creature has a weakness. Skill training, yes. The okay. wise hero trains for what he will face. So let's go here and then all of the stuns. So they're up to 110 base. Minus speed on that one. Pulls on this one from the back line. Uh, the bleeds. What is this changing? The base chance for bleed. I think we'll leave that for now. We'll upgrade Dexter here. I was tempted to give him that stress head, but I don't think it's going to be that beneficial for the group. I mean, I could be wrong. I might be wrong. Could be. Uh, we'll take the heal here and the stun. We'll upgrade all of her skills. I think the ones that we have equipped are only the healing buffs. So let's start with that. And then Igor. This buffs his crit chance and his accuracy. This ups to 80% base. Very cool. The heal is nice. And then we might be able to benefit from this. But I think I'm just going to roll with what I know for now. Oops. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more deeds here. Upgrade all of these guys. Okay. So it'll be an interesting... It'll be an interesting party, I think. But now he's basically just going to be stun central. So his... Basic attack. Let me see where I have him. Yeah, second. And then stun the back, stun the front, stun both in the middle. We set up for the Bogatir to do his Sunder. We also have this buffed a little bit now, so he's at 80% base. I'm taking the Stun Stone over here so that these have a much higher chance of hitting. I could argue that these are already going to be at 110, whereas if I give him the, the, uh, the Stun buff, that would bring this up to 90 which is probably a better way of handling it.
And then if I'm critting versus the stuns, do I... Uh, it sounds crazy, but do I need that extra damage? Probably not. Famous last words. I could give him the extra damage. So when he does do his attacks... Because his main attack... Uh, oh, it's only gets the bonuses from bleeding and marked, not stuns. It's got a pretty good crit mod. And if the target's below two-thirds... You know, I'm going to do it. Let's go for it. Why not? I've got the de-stress here. I've got the book on him. Actually, I'll switch the book, too. That's what we'll do. So he takes the book to kind of offset that, and then he can take the extra damage in the stun. Cool. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. We're going into the wheel to try to get this thing. If this is a quick mission, I might, might do two on the next one. And then we'll have access to all these bosses. Then we'll go through, start clearing more bosses. Uh, once we start hitting our guys at level 3, which is going to happen pretty soon, then uh, we'll go back to the court for this. The winemaker's reserved, or we try to kill the Baron. But uh, I probably want our guys at level 4 for any major, major boss fights like that. Let me know when I should unlock the farmstead too. This seems like I could probably do it now. And maybe that's what we'll do after the next mission. But uh, we'll play it by ear. Okay, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.